joined the Marines in 1965, got out for a couple of years. I was infantry, came back in, uh, subsequently uh, went from enlisted to, to becoming an officer and served 20 years commission time. And when I got out, I, uh, I had been, I had a friend that was teaching junior ROTC and so I, my, I kind of moved in that direction. But my family's history is in the Marines. I just had a, grad, a grandson graduate from boot camp. And yes, out of 280 Marines, he was the high shooter. <laughs> we had a, a shooting program in Albuquerque where one school had a range and uh, we would all go there once a month and we'd bring our kids and we'd shoot. And it was not very good shooting and my team would finish third or fourth and, and we got ridiculed unbearably by the other folks. <clears throat> but uh, fortunately, after the, about the second year, I had a young man that was really a phenom uh, who shot very well. I believe in postals are kind of questionable, but I knew the American Legion had a postal. And the American Legion is above reproach with regard to integrity and things like that. And I said, well, I'll, I'll get involved in that. And this young man shot a great score and qualified for the American Legion National Championships. I showed up at the American Legion National Championships with him and realized, looking around, that I was a pretty terrible coach and that that young man had gotten there in spite of what I had been teaching him. And this sport is unique in that coaches help each other. I mean, if you're in a football game and a kid breaks his helmet, you don't walk across the field and, and ask to borrow somebody else's because you aren't going to get any help. Well, in this sport, the whole time my shooter was up there doing the best he could, the other coaches had me aside showing me what kind of equipment to look like, what kind of look at, what kind of preparation to make for matches and in training and stuff like that. And when this match was at the NRA National Headquarters, which I believe is the only match that we've ever held outside of the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. And so being there at the NRA Headquarters, uh, there was there were some books available. I bought a book and, and read it and realized that everything I'd learned in the Marines, marksmanship-wise, I uh, was probably about 50 to 60% effective in air rifle. And so from that point on, uh, the teams that I coached won the state championship, I think, 16 straight years. And, and in fact, were undefeated in the state for those years because that book came in handy, but also primarily the, uh, the assistance and uh, mentorship from my fellow American Legion coaches. Well, the Legion, actually, if it had not been for that first match, uh, my kids would have, would have, you know, kind of mucked around in mediocrity. But I, I had an opportunity because of that one young shooter to see how how high young people could aspire, and how I, I as a coach, could improve to provide them the opportunity and and the wherewithal to to succeed themselves. Okay, the Legion is a unique rifle match. It's not, it's not where you. It's not a drive drive by daycare. I mean, you don't drop your kids off and stuff. You, you're with your shooters. You're with your students all the time, and we see that in, as in comparison to some of the other big matches. We have Legionnaires that run this match. At other organizations, you go there and they are set up, and your kids go up and shoot, and you sit in the bleachers and watch. Well, here. The, the coaches and parents sit in the bleachers and watch, but they're also legionnaires, and they know that everybody on the line is a legionnaire and has their young person's best interest at heart. 